my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalanda one okay guys so I've been shopping I've been shopping and so I've been hitting up also real hard in this video I kind of just want to do walk you through some of the things that I have gotten you know how I feel about them initially after using them what my impressions are now so forth and so on and all that good stuff but if this is your first time here first of all welcome to the beautiful dreamers channel and then I definitely encourage you to go ahead and subscribe if you have not already done so already and definitely click the bell right next to it so you never miss another video with your girl Shalinda one because over here we do all types of crazy stuff <laughs> and you do not want to miss another video while I'm saying this I just want you to know that my eye is running and it's driving me crazy I thought like you need to know that okay so like I said I've been at Alton I've been shopping I picked up some things up last few weeks so none of this is a first impression these are just me sharing the things that I have been picking up and wearing and testing out and these are my impressions these are just you know my little two cents on each one of them. First thing is the Superstay 24, no, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is not new. I have reviewed this already on my channel. However, I did misspeak in that video because I believe I said that the 360 or 355, I forget which one I said in that video was the darkest shade and that was totally incorrect. And I did put that in the description box, which is why I always encourage everyone to read the description. I put it right at the top. That's not the point. It's all right. I did decide to go back and actually pick up the very darkest shade. And this color is in 362 Truffle. And I've been wearing this over the last few weeks and I have it on right now. And out of all the colors, this one definitely works the best for my skin shade. What I have to say about it is that it definitely, in my opinion, has a little bit more yellow in it than red. At least that's the way it reads on me than the 360 Mocha. I feel like Mocha had a little bit of red in it. But the truth is, these, uh, both of these colors actually don't, they're not heavy in the red side, which is why, I, to me, I think it's fantastic. This one works much better for me, I definitely will say. However, I come to find, and it's very full coverage, so nothing I said in that review is different than how I feel now. However, I have been wearing this very differently. Um, one, I definitely put an illuminating primer on underneath it. And then, to be honest with you, I like to add a little bit of oil to this, just to kind of soften it up a little bit because it can go on very harsh and when I say harsh harsh is not the right word but it can go on very full coverage and if you not if you're not careful it can get cakey on you real quick real fast especially if you just pile it on but I find after adding a little bit of oil it really helps soften the foundation a lot and it goes on so much nicer as if it was a high-end um, foundation that you get from the drugstore so I must say that one this color is much better for me and the new way that I've been wearing it just by diluting it a little bit with a little bit of facial oil it transforms this and it it just I have it on right now it is beautiful love it okay the next thing I'm gonna talk about I'm, I'm almost a little bit afraid just because I feel like everyone raves about it and I've been wearing it for about a little over a week now and I'm not ready to rave about it I do think it's nice but you gotta learn to work with it what am I talking about I am talking about the new Maybelline um, age rewind eraser dark circles but in their two darkest colors this color is in tan and this color is in hazelnut. I haven't really dug into hazelnut as of yet just because I find that it is really just like my skin tone. Maybe just like a tad, a tidge lighter than my skin tone. So I'm waiting for a day that I decide to not wear any makeup and purposely try to wear this to see what that's like. However, I have been getting down with the tan and um, I have to say, uh, like it's already here and um this one is going by pretty quickly 
what I will say about this, it goes on very nicely and it blends nicely if you need a very thin coverage. However, if you need more of a fuller coverage, in my opinion, you need to let it sit. You need to let it sit for a good two, three minutes to really dry down. It's very watery and liquidy. So once it dries down, it really has more you know, sticking power. And once it blends out, it blends out with way more coverage. Like I have it on right now. But the first time I put this on, I put it on and it gave me coverage, but it didn't give me full coverage. You guys know I have darkness underneath the eyes. And even with color correcting, it still had some of that darkness coming through. So once I reapplied it, or next time I tried it, I really like packed it on and left it. And I got this coverage and this coverage is beautiful. I'll definitely say that it's a hit. However, you have to learn how to use it if you are a person who's really looking forward to erase the dark circle. Does it blend well? Yes. Um, does it provide a certain amount of coverage? Yes. But you have to work it a little bit more than what I like. So that's where I stand right now. Who knows if that will change, but as of right now, that's where I stand with that. After that, I should have brought up this first. I first was introduced to this concealer from C-Key here on YouTube. And this is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And it's a corrector. This is their corrector. And it is an orange. And when I say this bad boy is orange, I mean this bad boy is orange, okay? Like orange, orange, orange. However, let's get back to the formula. This is the way it looks, and it has a creaminess to it, which is really nice. But once again, I feel like this is something that you have to let dry down a little bit before you really blend it out. Now, what I will say is a little bit goes a very long way because it is, like, I think my camera is really not showing you how neon orange this is that looks very regular orange orange like it's a, like a neon orange and it goes a very long way and it that can almost be too heavy for some a lot of people however it definitely can be used and once you allow it to sit for a while and really kind of like build its staying power and then blend it out it does a really it does a pretty decent job so I'm not mad at this I did pick this up from Ulta I do not remember how much but um, I try to put it on the screen but I really like it I have to say it's definitely it has not replaced my favorite but it's definitely one that I would use to reduce the amount of times that I use my Smashbox does that make sense like it's one that now that I've been wearing it for over a week and I really know how I've played with it and I know how to apply it, I would use this on more of a daily basis or when I'm filming versus using that because that is not cheap. Okay. So I picked up two palettes. I picked up a palette, two palettes from Revolution. And I picked up the Revolution Iconic Division here and I picked up the Revolution Iconic Fever. Um, I don't know if this looks very familiar to you, but this is, I'm guessing, supposed to be an actual dupe for the Subculture Palette from Anastasia. This is what that looked like. And if you just look, those colors are dupes for the next color. So this palette has 14 shades in it, and this palette has 15. And all they did was add a... a ashy black to this palette unfortunately how bad we said the, the um how bad we said that the product in this was and the quality i can say the same for this palette um i did not enjoy using this palette by the way this is on sale at ulta for five dollars buy two get one free so I wound up on this website, I think this is $7, so from Ulta with that deal, these are only $5. I found the same issues that I was having with the Subculture Palette is the same exact issues I was having with this one. 
it was like I couldn't get the shadows to stick. I couldn't get the shadows to blend well within each other. They just, it just, it didn't work so much so to, I had to take it all off. I just had to start over because this palette just wasn't, it, it, the quality in this palette is really bad, unfortunately. However, this Fever palette was really nice. It is what I have on my eyes right now. And it definitely is workable. I believe that this is a um, dupe for the other palette. I'm gonna put a picture right here that she came out with that most people love. I did not pick that up. However, seeing this in person, I said, okay, for $5, I'll pick it up and I'll give it a try. And I have to say, this palette worked so much better than that other palette. I don't know why, I, don't, I can't explain it. It's a lot of berries, it's a very warm palette for $5, I have to say. I, the quality is definitely there. And I would use it on an everyday basis, so I have to say, I'm really enjoying this one. But that other one, horrible. Next, I finally got my damn hands on these highlighters that everyone has been raving about and these are the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters. I got it in Molten Gold and Molten Rose Gold and I've only really tried the gold. I haven't tried the rose gold yet because when I look at that, I don't really see rose gold. That's to me like a rose silver. I'm not really seeing a lot of gold in that. And I definitely wouldn't highlight with that because that would be way too ashy on me. It would probably be a really pretty lid or any inner tear duct co color. What I have tried, which is the golden, and I also have it on right now. And what I can say is, I don't love it as much as you guys do. I don't, and I don't know why. Um, one, it has a ton of glitter and shimmer and like it's beaming and though that is pretty you can put this you know like you can like really take the highlighter to another place if you really want to just make sure you have that pop that it will do but for my dark skin i like more of a bronzy gold to really complement my skin versus this one i feel like this is a little uh, silver than gold well I see silver gold so mm, can you work with it yes can you layer it yes can you tone it down yes but I still feel like I don't know if you can really see it's a lot of glitter in that so I would only wear this definitely not on an everyday basis nowhere near on an everyday basis maybe for a nighttime look and I know I'm gonna be in a dark room or a dark atmosphere and I still want my highlight to have something to say that is when I would probably use this however I think it's great to even be able to go to the drugstore and pick something up like this with this type of quality I think that's amazing I'm here for it all day every day but that doesn't change how I feel I would use it personally next thing and the last thing that I got from Ulta is I picked up the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink uh, lip sticks or lip creams because it definitely feels more like a cream and this is what I have on right now and all I'm gonna say is I didn't know who knew I was gonna fall in love with these so much I really really enjoy these so the first one I picked up was in the color 75 which is fighter I mean that orange if you know me you know I was picking this up and then I went back and because I was looking for something a little bit more neuter and in the store this is giving me very nude however I have this on right now and it looks just as orange as the other one and really in the store they look totally different but at home I'll be honest with you you use one you don't need the other so I am definitely gonna go back and pick up more I love the consistency of the lip Creams. I'm going to call it a lip cream because that's what it feels like. It gives you a matte finish without the lips that are dry. I've worn this for hours and it just keeps my lips just nice and moist. I love, 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 love them. 
I don't usually pick up a lot of lip products from the drugstore. I am a huge fan of these. Those are my opinions of these products. Out of everything I've shown, what I've really, really kind of really vibe with that I think are kind of like must-haves is definitely this palette. I like this palette. It's very inexpensive. It works. The quality is pretty decent. The pigmentation is really decent. You can't go wrong with it. And it's $5 right now. If you take advantage of the Ulta, if you take advantage of the Ulta deal right now, buy two, get one free. You can't beat it. Really, really enjoyed the lip creams. I'm going to call them they call them matte inks. I'm going to call them lip creams because it just goes on so creamy and beautiful. And I'm a huge fan of that. The chrome is definitely something that I believe that we all need to put into our collection. I believe that they will. you will find a time to wear it. I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't feel like it's appropriate for like an every day. It's a bit much. But glad I do have it. You definitely must get your hand on the... Um, the foundation I personally if you're looking for full coverage coverage and you want more of a matte look you're definitely gonna get that but if you're a person like me that likes a little bit of radiance in there you can definitely still use these and just add a few or one or two of like uh, your favorite facial oil and it will still give you beautiful results I love a foundation that you can add some stuff or deduct some stuff or you can figure out a way to taper it to your personal preference and it still performs excellent. Not all foundations can do this. I hope that you enjoyed this type of video. I actually had fun with this instead of just reviewing it and just giving you my opinion, but I really played with these things all week and really had a good time getting to know these products and I can tell you what's good, what's bad, what to keep away from and all that different stuff. So I actually enjoyed this. This was a good one. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please, Say it with me, my love. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And you definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl, Shalinda One. Be sure to click the bell so you don't do that. You don't want to miss another video. You become a, a part of the notification squad. I love you guys so much. Please remember, you are bold, you are beautiful, and most importantly, you are blessed, my sister. And don't you let anything or anyone tell you anything differently. I will see you guys in the very next video. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Hello. Question of the day. Out of everything I show here in this video, what's that one thing that you want a full dedicated video on? Out of everything I show here, you have one. What's that one thing that you want to know a little bit more about? Leave it in the comments below. I love you guys. Bye.